A very good morning, one and all present here. I am Mas Bhavishya Shetty. Here, presenting you the topic on a globe, the model of a earth. In today's topic, I will tell you a globe, the model of a earth. Yes, in today's video, what we will learn are, we will learn about the globe, we will learn the futures of globe, we will learn about north and south pole, we will learn about the axis, equators and poles, and now we will learn about the lines present in a globe and we will learn in the last about globe grid. Yes, you may know all the things you, ha you have learned this in your previous classes. Now we will learn the about globe. You may know what is globe in your previous classes but I will explain you. Yes, you can see a globe is a small and spherical model of a earth and it shows the shape and location of continent countries, oceans, seas, plateaus, deserts and many more which is present in our earth. Yes. Now you may ask what are the futures of our earth? Yes. The futures are we can display our mother and earth and we can see only the half part of our earth at one time but we can turn one to see another half. Yes. Now let me learn about North Pole, South Pole and Poles which is present in our Earth. First let me learn about, about the axis. Yes. An axis is the globe can turn around a line which is slanting and tilted to 23 half degree. You can see a globe is tilted to 23 and half degree is called axis. Yes. Now we will learn about the poles. Yes. Poles are the two end points in the axis. You can see the two end points is called north and south pole. We are in the poles. We have two poles. One is north pole and one is south pole. North pole means the northernmost point of the earth. You can see the northernmost point is called the north pole and southernmost point is called south pole. Yes, now let me learn about equator. Yes, equator is a midway line between two poles and which is an imagined line which helps the earth to circle is called equator. And now let me learn about the hemispheres which is present in our earth. We have two hemispheres. One is northern and southern hemisphere. Yes. Northern hemisphere you may know what this is. But I will explain you. Northern hemisphere is the topmost hemisphere is called northern hemisphere. And the bottommost hemisphere is called southern hemisphere. Northern hemisphere is from north pole to equator and southern hemisphere is from equator to south pole yes you are if you are interested with my video please see the other context which is helpful for your higher grades now we are going to learn about latitude and longitude and their futures yes Latitude are the horizontal lines which are drawn parallel to the equator and they run like an equator from west to east. You can see up to, you can see a dark line, horizontal lines. They are called blue, dark blue lines, you can see, you know, they are the latitude and their futures are latitude run parallel to each other west and east direction all of them from complete circle except north and south pole because they are the poles they are all at the equal distance from each other you can see they are equal distance this is one box means this is also in equal distance the latitude decrease in the length as you move from the equator to the poles. There, these are the futures of latitude. Now I will explain you about longitude. 
Yes, longitude are the vertical lines are the semicircle and they run from north pole to south pole. Yes, you can see a dark blue line which are vertical lines which run from north pole to south pole. They are longitude lines. Now we are going to learn about the futures of longitude. Yes, the first futures are the longitude lines are semicircle and they run from one pole to another pole. And second futures are the longitude are north to south direction and third point is future says that longitude and latitude cut against each other now let me learn about global grid yes global grid are the lines that latitude and longitude connect to a network line and form a grid called global grid if you know the latitude and longitude in the place, you can locate accurately the global grid. I am thanking you to watch my video and spending your precious time. And like, the, like and subscribe the video for more videos. Thanks.